you know when the van's coming? Ah, oh, here it is. Mr. Songyan? And Dr. Sil? Uh, yeah. Password? Oh, the password is I love poodles one two three. Red light, green light. Oh, red light, green light. Of course. That's the Sorry, that's my bank password. Forget I said anything. Fantastic. Well, I brought snacks. Did somebody say road trip? Uh, I guess everyone. We can go back. Pretty tired. Um, how long will it take to get to the? Game venue or whatever. Excuse me, Mr. Driver, but if this is an aesthetic gas that's trying to make us all unconscious, a couple questions. First of all, who's maintaining our airways? Because if we're unconscious, we could choke. Also, have we been told that we have to be nil by mouth before this sedation? No one told me. Also, there's no saturation probes. How do you know if we're not becoming hypoxic or something? Ugh. Let me see. Poor thing. Oh. Oh, you probably shouldn't do that, boss. <sighs> got a sweet taste of it. Oh, boss, if uh, it tastes sweet, maybe he's got diabetes. Because you know, diabetes mellitus actually was diagnosed back in the old day by tasting people's urine and blood. And if it tasted sweet, uh, that's why it was called mellitus, because mellitus actually means honeyed or sweet. There's a fun fact for you, boss. Hey mate, do you have any family history of any diabetes? Like, does your mother have diabetes? She's diabetic. She left it untreated and it got worse. Ah oh, man, you should have told me she had diabetes when we were in the bathroom beating you up. We could have caught this ulcer earlier. She had to be in a lot of pain recently. Oh, sorry to interrupt, boss. I think you're wrong there. Because it's diabetic peripheral neuropathy, that means that the nerves are injured, and that's why they get ulcers. That's why she developed an ulcer, uh, because she can't feel pain. So she probably wasn't in much pain, but she's still very sick. And why haven't we started her on IV antibiotics yet? Is someone getting that uh, organized? Do we have a cannula? We should, we should definitely get a cannula. Ah, looks like you've got a shard of glass perforating your sigmoid colon. Ah, probably best to leave it in there, because if you pull it out, maybe you get fecal material leaking out into your abdominal cavity, resulting in spontaneous bacterial peritonitis, and then you'll probably be dead in a couple hours. Oh, or you could just pull it out with your bare hands. Uh, might want to put a bit of pressure on that while you're there. Brilliant job. You should be just fine. Have a lovely day. All right, that is it for this video. Oh my gosh, I've spent my whole day off just doing the editing for this. I don't know how special effects people do it. I found it so hard um, and it was so much fun to put together. So if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving the video a like because that'll help it uh, be recognized by the YouTube algorithm and helps my channel grow, which would be wonderful. Um, if you're interested in these kind of videos, check out my other reaction videos. And I did another green screening video, you can check that out with Grey's Anatomy. Um, and I wish you all an absolutely lovely day. And don't forget to consider subscribing, that would be wonderful as well. Bye for now!